You can typically find Joe Bird outdoors. This avid hunter is constantly roaming his property in Hawkins, Texas. I get around on my farm, but it's not real quick. Though over the last several years, Joe's focus has shifted. He is now fighting for his life. I was having uh, blood in my urine. We couldn't find out what was causing it. In the summer of 2015, Joe was given the diagnosis, stage four metastatic kidney cancer. It was over my left kidney and then my back muscles and up to my spine. I was a little bit shocked nobody in my family's ever had cancer. The retired mechanic said he'd been healthy most of his life. Joe now had to make the pivotal decision on where to receive treatment. Given the opportunity to make a choice with MD Anderson, or UT Southwestern. I chose UT Southwestern here in Dallas. In July of 2015, Joe had the first of what would be seven surgeries at UT Southwestern. His kidney cancer, which had invaded into the back muscles and the diaphragm, was removed in a complex surgery. As suspected, it was a very aggressive form of kidney cancer. Two weeks after removing that, I was losing my ability to walk. They rushed me back up here and found a tumor in my spine. His cancer had traveled to a very challenging place, his spinal cord. He was taken back to the OR where the tumor was removed, a very delicate operation with little margin for error, from which he recovered well. Patients with kidney cancer get lesions elsewhere in the body. And most commonly it goes to the lungs, and second most commonly it goes to the bones. One third of patients with stage four kidney cancer have metastasis to the bone. When the cancer goes to the bone, the bone weakens and can break. It's tough to find the bone lesions early on. We don't have a good test for them. The x-rays are not that sensitive. Uh, until the lesions are bigger and at that point it could be later it could come in and you have a fracture. And radiology researchers at UT Southwestern have developed a new test to detect bone metastasis earlier. We can modify the MR scanner how it works so that it can improve the image quality or provide additional information that's not currently available. The development of these techniques is a team effort that starts with an MRI physicist such as Dr. Ananth Metarunthakum, who can change the way the MRI works to provide a faster and more precise diagnosis. The whole body scan can be done in less than 10 minutes compared to 30 to 40 minutes of the existing techniques. Joe, eager to be a part of this research, was one of the first patients to try it at UT Southwestern. We drive two hours in for this stuff and Usually you have to wait a couple hours to be hooked up and it takes forever so by the time you get out we either go get us a hotel room. With this we'll be able to get in the car and go back to the country. It's a home run. <laughs> Using the new MRI technique, doctors found additional lesions in Joe's body. Tumors that would have never been found without these scans. Using this novel MRI technique, we can detect a metastasis to the bone before the bone is weakened and it fractures and, and thereby uh, help uh, patients uh, like Joe. Joe's cancer also spread to the brain. He had both surgery and radiosurgery at UT Southwestern. I had 22 in my brain. Joe Bird has beaten all odds. I feel better about it and I'm surviving. Now going on three years, the birds will continue their fight against cancer together. I have to be strong for him. And we have a deep faith in God. Trouble just makes you stronger together. I pray for her every day. I, the good Lord knows she's my earth angel. A lot of men don't have one of those. His wife, Anita, says her loving husband wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for the care he's received at UT Southwestern. I truly believe any other hospital, it, it, he would not have had the survival rate that he's had or the quality of life that he's had.